So you've decided to breastfeed your baby. Congratulations. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get started? What do I do? It may be a little overwhelming, but with practice and the tips we will provide you with today, you and your baby will be experts in no time. First, let's chat about some of the basics of our body to make sure we're all on the same page. Many women refer to the nipple as the entire dark area on their breast, but the nipple is actually only the small raised area in the center of the areola where breast milk comes out. The areola is the dark circular area surrounding the nipple. When breastfeeding, your baby needs to take both your nipple and areola into her mouth, not just the nipple. So it's important to get yourself comfortable, preferably in a chair or a bed that provides you with back support. You may also want to put a pillow underneath your baby to support your baby in your arms and also bring her or him closer to your breast. And lastly, you may also want to have water or snacks handy as babies may take a little while to feed. Now your first question may be, how do I hold my baby? The answer is, whatever works best for you and your baby. Now we're going to show you some of mom's favorite positions while nursing. Try to give them all a try and see what works best for you and your baby. Hold your baby resting on the pillow in front of you with her head resting in the crook of your arm and make sure the baby is rolled toward you. You should be stomach to stomach. If he or she is not facing you with his or her body, it can make it harder for him or her to latch onto your breast. You may need to use your free hand to support your breast. your baby on your lap and facing toward your breast. Turn his head with the heel of your hand on his shoulders and his body resting on that arm. Take care not to hold the baby's head. Support your breast with the same hand as the side your baby is nursing on. Lay back in a comfortable position in a chair or bed with your baby on your stomach. If needed, you can guide your baby toward your breast with your hands so she can find the nipple. This position is great if you've had a C-section, have very large breasts, or if your baby is very small. Place your baby under your arm like you're holding a football so she's facing you with her nose level to your nipple. Rest your arm on a pillow in your lap or beside you and gently support your baby's head with your hand as you guide her mouth to your nipple, chin first. This position is great for those feedings at 2 a.m. when you may want to catch a little sleep while your baby nurses. Lie down in bed and place your baby on his side with his head in line with your nipple and your stomachs facing each other. If your baby needs to be higher and closer to your breast, place a small pillow or folded blanket under his head. Now, let's talk about latching, another important part of breastfeeding. To get your baby to latch, turn his or her body all the way toward you. And then, touch your nipple to your baby's upper lip. And when your baby opens his or her mouth very wide, what you want to do is you want to pull your baby onto your breast, holding your breast for support. Her mouth should cover your nipple as much of the areola as possible. Your nipple should be far back in your baby's mouth and pointed toward the roof of the baby's mouth. Your baby should have a strong latch that doesn't hurt your nipple. And if nursing hurts, what you want to do is gently break the suction by inserting your pinky finger between your baby's gums and your breast, and then you can just try again. 
after your baby latches on properly, he or she will know how to do the rest. Like any new skill, breastfeeding takes practice at first, but you and your baby will be experts in no time. For more information about nursing and pumping, take a look at part two of this video.